it's Courtney and Kylie and we're back for day we haven't filmed a video in how long two three weeks we posted last week well that's because I like scheduled it and then yeah it was from way Wait, earlier we kind of have a posting schedule now do we because you are scheduling them because last time what day did we post Thursday was it the last Thursday I think so and then it was that next Thursday. The Thursday before too. So should we just start posting every Thursday? If we can. If we can, we'll post every Thursday so we have like a kind of a schedule. Cause it used to be like just literally out of the blue random. Yeah. We just got new piercings. Yeah, I got another nose piercing. I got my industrial bar redone. And I'm gonna re-dye my, so I do have like red in my hair, but we're gonna dye it black. So maybe in the next video, you'll see it be black in the back instead of red. Mine's like a greenish blue underneath right now. Yeah. So that's what's right. new <laughs> uh, with yeah. our physical appearance. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're going to read people's anonymous confessions. Anonymous. Anonymous. Uh, anonymous. Anonymous. It sounds like octopus. You're just not saying it right. Anonymous. 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 No, you're adding an extra M. Anonymous. No, anonymous. Anonymous. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Just read that. okay, I'm just gonna scroll and pick one. Okay. When I was nine, I was at my cousin's house and we were playing video. Then I came and sat on a chair and I heard a crack. I took the blanket off and see, I broke his iPad till the, that day I never told anyone. Oh, that's <laughs> kind of boring. Yeah, that one was boring. That sucks though. Do you want to try picking one? Okay. Um, Why did that car just stop right there? It like stopped behind. I don't know if we were going to be able to see it, but that was weird as fuck. What the? Okay. I think I'm falling in love. My past relationships have been one-sided and healthy. They really brought down my hopes to ever see love again, even though I am young. I met someone and before this, I promised myself I'd never do anything long distance again, but meeting them changed that thought. We're not official because I'm just so scared. I overthink a lot and right now they're just not helping with that. They usually reassure me and tell me that it'll be fine, but they're more dry than usual. I love them, I do, but... I love them, I do, but they trigger past problems that scare me and then I tear myself apart. We both see a future, which I think is cool, but I don't know how to tell them exactly I'm feeling even though we usually communicate well. I fucking hate that problem. Yeah. When you keep overthinking and your partner just gets sick of it. It's like, okay, if it's since it's long distance, you have to have the communication, you have to have the reassurance, or it's not gonna work. Like, it's just not gonna work. And if he is giving you shit for asking for communication or reassurance, you need to just dip because it we won't leave. get it won't get better from there. It will get worse, and you could literally sit there and explain your side and want to understand them, and then they'll be like, "Oh, it's just not worth it." It's better just like you could try talking about it, and if it still doesn't change, you gotta go, you gotta leave. I feel like relationships aren't shit these days. Yeah, they really they suck. All, like, there's nothing real anymore. And, like, I don't know. Expect just... Like, beauty expectations now are just fucking insane. And it's just about... Because social media has, like, ruined, like, beauty stand Like, mm -hmm. has their definition of beauty standards. And now that's what guys care about. And, like, I... <laughs> I feel like it's just so easy for people to move on because they're like, oh, I can find someone better. Like, people just don't want to start fixing shit anymore. People care about physical look more than what's actually, like, inside of the person. Like, their genuine, like, self. Like, of course, like, physical appearance can be nice. But, like, like it, it's in, like, like I feel like personality matters so much more. So, I'm sorry about your long-distance boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> I, can't, I love my brother more than myself. He's been second only to my father. He's got married last year and everything was really awesome. Everyone was happy. But this summer when I came home for some days, I made a grave mistake of fooling around his wife. She's a very nice woman, very beautiful and sincere. And he 
and we have a lot in common. The day we met and made love, it was really very hard to forget of her. But due to my brother, I stopped talking to her. But now after a few months, I started to talk, I talk to her. And she told me that she's in love with me. I'm feeling so... It's like I have ruined my brother's everything. Okay, I stopped listening because I forgot we had the air on still. Let me reboot it. Hold on. Oh my fucking god. Bro. <laughs> That's your brother's Ain't wife. Ain't no way you can say you love your brother more than yourself and then go fuck his wife. No, literally. Like, how are you going to say, I love my brother more than myself, but I'm going to go and fuck his wife. That's his everything. I'm going to go for it. Make it make sense, like, honestly. It smells like, like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like, you guys are both in the wrong. Like, his wife and his sister. And this poor guy. This poor guy. Oh, wait. Is it a sister or... His sister fucked his wife. <laughs> I don't think they specified the gender. It's... Their gender. Not that it matters, but, like... I don't know. It's gone. But I can tell you all about it. It has a juice. Kylie. It has a juice. That's stuck in my head. I Get can't it out. It. I can't. I don't know, but they're both in the wrong on that. For real. What the fuck? If I found out, if I, I mean, I'd never be able to beat my brother up or anyone in my family up because I'm weak as fuck and they're all strong and athletic and shit and I'm a fucking art nerd and a computer Despite science it. major but the thought the, it's the thought I have a younger brother and one day he just wouldn't stop talking even when I asked him to stop being so loud then he uh, started audibly chewing and made me mad I have IED and he knows that bothers me so I asked him to stop again he didn't I wasn't getting really upset with him and he kept pushing my buttons um, so I full on scream, stop it, just shut up at him. Sometimes I feel bad about it, but then again, I remember how pissed off I was. I wouldn't feel bad at all. That has happened between me and my brother, like, constantly. He doesn't shut the fuck up, and then I scream at him, and then he just beats me up. I scream at my little brother all the time. Like, it's, I feel like it's normal. Like, yeah. you yell at your siblings all the time. Yeah. That's not really a confession. Yeah. I think we all do it. That's a normal thing. Oh, great. Another one about love. I dated a man for a month and we both fell madly in love. It was the best thing I've ever experienced, both emotionally and intimacy, intimately, whatever. But we decided eventually that the relationship couldn't work. He was several years younger than me and working through things in his life, but we haven't gotten e over each other and still each other are intimate. We still tell each other we love each other and we still text daily. It's almost as if we're still in a relationship. It's breaking my heart and I don't want to let go. I feel like such a bad person for ending things. Why would you end things in the first place if yeah. things didn't change? Now like, you're the same thing just without a label and you just made it so much more complicated. Then it had to be. Like I understand the intentions, but if you couldn't let go and you don't want to move on, then... <laughs> Then why? Then what's did the you... point? <laughs> I I just take my glasses off because they were getting stuck in my. I mean, they were hurting my piercing. Let me read one. I know, but I'm trying to find like interesting ones because these are all lame. Why'd you look up on Instagram? Look it up on Google. That's what I did. It brought me to that. It's gone. I could tell you. All about Dude, it. no it thanks. Juice. It has a juice. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> Anonymous confessions. Anonymous! Shut up! I could fall asleep right here. Please just don't. I could. Why are they all about boys? Can we move on? Guys, they're not that important. Dude, what the actual fuck? It's gone. They are the nubs. It's got the juice. It's, it's got, got the, the juice. juice. Okay. I kissed my ex best friend's brother. And she oh, wait wait, ex, best friend brother. Okay, sorry, that took me a second to comprehend. I kiss my ex best friend's brother, oh. and she still don't know about it to this day. Hmm. I feel like best friends are like always protective about like their like their siblings. 
Like, remember our one friend? And she's like, if you ever even talk to my brother in any way like that, then I will never be friends with you again. I can, I, I, I mean, can, I, I can see it though. I some, can understand. Someone that I, well, we were still friends at this time. Um, she made out with my brother. Oh my God, I remember? forgot about that. Yeah. And then she started just using me to see my brother. So now she's an ex best like ex friend. I hit it again. I hit my piercing. So we got these done like an hour ago. At this point, I just feel like any like everyone's just trying to go after anyone at this point. I know everyone's just horny as hell. I masturbate at school sometimes. <laughs> if you're that horny, you need some help. Like seriously, you can't control yourself. At fucking school, you need to go. You need to get help. You need to, you need to go. Like, when leave. we were in eighth grade, they, people literally had sex in the bathroom. Literally, I remember one of the security guards told me like a funny story. Not a funny story. It was actually really gross. I feel Why bad. are these called sussy anonymous <laughs> confessions? <laughs> so, a security guard told me that like he went in the boys' bathroom and he saw like a girl and a guy like in the bathroom. And she was literally giving him eh, in the bathroom. <laughs> Bro, I don't again, get, like, if you're that horny. Why, do that, like, you're that horny to do that at school. You need to, like, fucking, Just like, ditch. Literally, ditch. Go have car sex or something. Like, goddamn. Leave the school parking lot. Go fucking fuck where else, wherever. Then come back to school. But what? To have sex or masturbate at school? Dude. <laughs> Come on now. Like, we need to get it together. Step up your game. Like, get it together. You act like you're not going to get caught either. Exactly. Like, y'all are, y'all are whack. Y'all are wildin'. <laughs> y'all wildin' for real. That one's boring. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I you just don't say anything. LMAO. So, uh, I used to joke around how I could kill someone, but, like, I think i truly need help because sometimes when someone pisses me off so much i <laughs> have to get away because i want to hurt them so bad and when i'm sitting in my room i think about brutally hurting them and it comes to the point where i'm imagining you know haha -ha. anyways when i start to think about that i start to like smile and try not to laugh and stuff and i feel a burst of happiness and goosebumps and and, and shit and i'm literally getting a panic attack reading this and a lot of other fucked up shit i shall not say i like how they put the little star emoji like that's gonna twinkle it all up you act like i can see then i get pissed off and start laughing because i can't do this without getting in trouble because i'm too young to do that stuff without people noticing but yeah i've never talked about this before but it's okay too because all my friends murder? and fam think i'm the nice innocent one of the friend group so whatever <laughs> i mean i was gonna say at first like i understand like hating people to that level but then it just got worse and as worse. it went on like you actually imagine yourself and you smile at the thought of them being dead <laughs> Like, I get, I get being pissed off at people, but there's a certain like, level you I need get, somehow. Like, getting pissed off at people and want to beat their ass. Like, oh, I'm going to beat this bitch up. smiling but. and laughing in your room while thinking about murdering them is not okay. Maybe you should get some help. Yeah. And the fact that you're young and you're imagining And the fact this. that you're saying, I'm too young to do this. Are, is there any age where murder is appropriate? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think there's I'm an really... age where it's okay. No at all yeah <laughs> slightly but yeah, just might want to cool it on that one just chill out a bit maybe maybe some little like just go to like get some help like do a classes you know because that let's just not go around killing people i lost my virginity to my best friend at age 11 age i remember when i <laughs> when i was 11 i still thought boys had cooties <laughs> when i was 11 how what grade were we are were we in 11 fifth <laughs> <laughs> why did you say so good fifth and we were in fifth grade shut up 
Yeah, you want to wake up the whole Walmart? Yeah, I mean, I do. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Stop Imagine getting me. your virginity lost here. before <laughs> an 11 year old got there. Wait, I just roasted myself. <laughs> Wait, that is not a roast. Wait. <laughs> Any normal person would wait before- No. <laughs> Any reasonable person would lose their virginity. <laughs> wait for later. Me. Yeah, later on. Much later in life. 11? Dude, what? To your best friend? At the age 11? 11? You can get your period at that age. I didn't even start my period until 7th grade. Like, the end of 7th grade. Yeah, same. The, like, last week of school, I started my period- Dude, you something. weren't even like, you didn't even go through menopause. <laughs> menopause. <laughs> menopause is when you're like 60. Oh, that's not the right one. Um, you didn't even go through your period. Why do you keep pausing? You do this every time. <laughs> I, I, thought I, every I thought I, 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 I spit on your leg. <laughs> every <laughs> time I'm editing, like half of the things I'm cutting out is like you're talking and you just pause <laughs> for a solid 30 seconds in the middle of your sentence. And sometimes you just don't continue. <laughs> but so you, you're not even, <laughs> you go, but, but like, you're not even like fully grow wait fully grow okay you haven't even matured yet to even know what sex is first of all second of all you don't shouldn't even know what sex is third of all yeah i didn't you, learn what sex is until like you haven't even hit puberty in middle of seventh grade their balls have not even dropped at that age because you haven't even hit puberty how do you do the things you do <laughs> anyway for me I kissed three of my cousins. Sweet home Alabama. What the fuck? Again. If you're that horny, calm down. Why? Why? Why your family? There's seven billion people on the planet and you're telling me you're gonna kiss your cousin. Like you really just wanna kiss people that bad? Like I can never kiss my cousin. Like, so we ever. kissing cousins now? So <laughs> so we kissing this is why at this this generation we don't believe when guys say these are my cousins mm -mm. because mm -mm. ain't no fucking people way. be going around kissing their cousins apparently or they lie about their cousins okay i'm gonna drop it now because <laughs> to find one mm -hmm. it's gone it's gone I think my half sister slept with our dad. I've never met her, and I've only met him once. Again, what is with the, with all the incest going on? There's seven billion, almost eight billion people on this fucking planet, and you are going to sleep with your dad? Your dad, your father. He literally, you. Oh my god. I don't know what? Mom, even thinking about that. Your, your dad. <laughs> I said that like your, 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 your mom. mom. <laughs> you literally have. He's the one that helped produce you, and you're gonna sleep with your dad. I can't move on. It's just... <laughs> what is this? What are those? I need to shut the fuck up! Oh my god! That shit's stuck in my head and I can't get it out! I have a crush on my cousin's boyfriend and it's obvious he likes me back and I don't know what to do about the situation. Move again. Move on. Don't be a fucking Move. homewrecker. Yeah, don't. It's your own fucking cousin. At that point, family comes first before a fucking boy. And, and family shit. And family is shit. But still. But still, you don't go after who they're dating. Mm -mm. So, please, like, move on. Find a new guy. It's not that hard. Like, it's not that, like, if you, if someone you care about, it has an interest in that person, it doesn't even matter if it's a little bit or a lot. Like, you just don't mess with that. Like, and it's like I had a crush on a guy for a week. And um, he asked for her snap. And she said no, because I liked him for a week. Literally. <laughs> Like, this is a little story time. This was freshman year. I was walking out of the bathroom. He was walking, like, he opened the doors to get in the hallway, and I was going out the doors to get out of the hallway. And he, like, stopped in front of me. He goes, can I have your Snapchat? And I go, 
no and then i walked away and then i told her and i was like i said no because you had a crush on him for a week <laughs> that's friendship and the fact that you can't do that for family you I mean, need to that's also kind of a little extreme <laughs> but like but especially like, like that is that extent that is not okay yeah it's just like how you would approve like say it happened to you like whether it's a cousin or like friend if you have a boyfriend and your cousin or your friend starts to like flirt with them behind your back and like gets them to like you how would you feel about that like if the rules were reversed would you like it like if i liked someone or i was dating someone and then you went after them while i was dating them i would fucking cut your hair off in your sleep and never speak to you again <laughs> <laughs> and like which I would never do that. Because, yeah, like, you would literally never. I am, again, yeah, I am example. big on girl code. Slowly for the fact, because my be one of my friends at the t this time, around a the time. A few of your friends have gone after your exes. Yeah. Um, that is but not okay. one went to a certain extinct to go extent. after a stent. Extent? Extent. To <laughs> have a, a CX. Why are you with spelling it out? Oh yeah, sex <laughs> with one of my exes that took my virginity, and I, yep, and I found out. So I don't think. And then she fucked another one of your exes. Mm -hmm, the one that was the most toxic and traumatic, traumatic, and fucking, and needs to be locked up in jail. But she fucked him too, so that's great. So it just sucks. So I would just move on and not talk to him and let your cousin live her life and af with her boyfriend and you go find another guy yeah that again people. almost eight billion people on the planet move on hon got a little spicy up in here yeah <laughs> what is your confession <laughs> yes <laughs> it might be confusing oh, no i'm not gonna read if it's gonna be confusing we're too fucking stupid <laughs> What is your confession? No. <laughs> One was these nuts. <laughs> jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. I was stabbed by my own brother when I was younger. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, your brother needs to be in a mental hospital. <laughs> you know what's funny though? When I was younger, my cousins would chase me around the house with knives. Maddie would run. <laughs> Maddie's my sister. She would run around the house with when she was a kid with a butter knife, yelling sharp, sharp. <laughs> No, my cousin literally would grab a sh like it was literally a pocket knife, like so they're sharp, and he would literally chase me around with it. And I was like six years old, and they were way older than me. They're like both in their twenties now, and I'm eighteen. Oh, well, they're like late twenties. Like one. Of I those thought you were gonna say they were in their twenties while you were six. I was like, no. what in the fuck? <laughs> One of them's 28, and the other one's like 23, I think. And then so I'd get chased around with a pocket knife, and. To the point where like i literally bawled my eyes out because <laughs> i thought i was gonna die brothers cousins same thing <laughs> okay it's been 27 minutes one of my teachers is hot i think we've all had a hot teacher <laughs> oh my god everyone's in love with one of my professors yeah <laughs> um i mean it's a lot of the guys saying that they're in love with him <laughs> Uh, but yeah everyone says they're in love with him uh. burp okay well hope you enjoyed this video it was a little bit chaotic um, as always because we're chaotic mm -hmm. um we've gotten a little bit more support recently and we've noticed the past few days and we really 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 appreciate that because we are a very small channel happy. i know we saw like we got like our first comments and I just got butter like not butterflies but I just got Wait, all I'm gonna look at the inside. person's name. We're gonna give her a little shout out. Why not? Because we, they asked us to do more embarrassing stories. We will. I just gotta think of more because my mind is not available at the moment. Her thing is Mary Gold Lavender. So love you. <laughs> we love you and thank you for showing us. Support. support and commenting we appreciate um, it um and if you guys w want to follow our instagram we don't post but we'll i'm but gonna start start trying yeah we're gonna start trying to post on there um so follow 
because we want to know like honestly like what you because it kind of is hard because we struggle with figuring out what mm -hmm. to make videos on so if <laughs> you guys need to help us to, and tell us what you want to see more of and what you want to see and we'll do it because yes. it makes it easier for us <laughs> as well so it's we're a win-win situation you guys see what you want to see and, and then we, we do it we know yeah we know what we want to do <laughs> yeah all right okay uh, like and subscribe. We love you. Bye. Bye.